Allow me to address you today. Uh, my name is Duncan Kirkwood. I work for BAIL. I am the state director of the Black Alliance for Educational Options. You all see the folders in front of you. There are 48 letters in those folders from community members and parents and pastors and educators across the state in support of Charter Schools. So I hope that you all will read those letters and hear your story. Um, I'm also a voter. I'm the father of a child who is in a traditional public school here in Alabama. Uh, and I'm an Army officer in the Alabama Army National Guard. And I'm here to speak in support of public charter schools coming to Alabama. I've actually gone to visit these, these charter schools in other states. So I've got to see like the 100 black men of, Mo of Memphis start a charter school for science, technology, and math. I've seen the Delta Sigma Theta sorority in Detroit start a charter school for social justice. I've seen in Atlanta, Kip Vision and Kip Primer teach little black children African history. And I have watched. As in Chicago, as Mr. King said, Urban Prep, they have a school of all black boys graduate, not just graduate 100%, but have 100% college acceptance for the last five years. We need that here for our families. We need that for our kids, because in Alabama, right, our black boy graduation rate is 53%. So that means every time you see two black boys, only one of them is going to graduate high school. In historic Montgomery County, almost every middle school is on our state's failing schools list. Right, so we need to have a sense of urgency because we're losing generations of children. Like we have to do something different. Now I know a lot of you all lived during the civil rights movements in the 50s and the 60s. Some of you all went to the Selma reenactment uh, this past weekend. But in 2015, this is our civil rights fight. Can our children get access to high quality <coughs> educational options or not? That's the quintessential question of this generation. Now the question is, do you really believe that every child can learn? That's the question. Do you really believe that every child, regardless if they're poor, if they've got one parent, two parents, dads in jail, homeless, hungry, can they learn or not? And if we really believe that, we ask you to act, to support this, to give our families options, and to empower our school district with tools, not the magic bullet, not the silver bullet, not the answer to all the problems, but tools to help families that are 